Hi, I'm Danny Bear, and today I'm joined by Kobe Jones. Today we're taking a look at the USA's first World Cup opponent. Yes, it's Ghana. Kobe, I was going to say, what can the Americans <laughs> expect? But that's probably not such a great question, considering our history with Ghana in the past. What, what can the players do that can be different to the previous game? I, I don't know. Give me some insight to Ghana right now. I, I love the fact that you said our history. You're Americanized know, now. Know. You know, that's I've great. That's great. <laughs> no, it's going to be a tough matchup as the U.S. has seen in the, you know, the past two World Cups against Ghana. You know, you, it's, a, it's a very skilled, tactically strong dynamic team you know that's the that's the going to be the problem that the US is going to have to deal with it's not like they have a whole lot of weaknesses and people tend to forget against this kind of team that they were a team that was just one handball away from Mr. Luis Suarez from going to the semifinals. So this is this is a talented team, the, probably the best African nation team. So it's going to be a difficult, a very difficult matchup for the, for the USA. You know some players, you know a perfect example, Jordan Ayew. I mean just scored a hat trick for for the Black Stars. He's talented. He's young. He's fast. And this is where the, a lot of the pressure is going to be on that U.S. defense and midfield in support. And they're going to have to find a way to shut down not just one player like that, but probably about five or six that have the same type of talent level. I mean, after a while, when you've had a, quite a big history with a, another country like Ghana, as the USA has, it's an emotional defeat at this point, isn't it? Oh, yes. Do you think it's time for revenge for the U.S., or do you think we're going to be disappointed again? I, I think it's time for revenge. I think so. <laughs> you know? and, and, and this is where I give Jurgen Klinsmann a lot of credit. I think he's done a good job of prepping the team for this game. When I take a look at how they played in the send-off match against Nigeria, we talked about the diamond formation. Everyone's hearing about that from Jurgen Klinsmann, and it's a very defensive type of diamond, and I think that's how he wants to play against Ghana, and that's how he could possibly shut it down. Clogging up that middle, having support for the back line through the three defensive midfielders that are basically going to be dropping back, looking over their shoulders to see where they can support as much as possible, and then countering. And we've seen the U.S. do a very good job on the counterattack when that ball gets up to Altidore, Bradley, Dempsey. A great triumvirate up top for the U.S., probably the best that we've seen in years, you know, probably the best ever for the USA on the counterattack. So they do have a chance. This is the opportunity. This is probably the best opportunity over the last few World Cups that I've seen for the U.S. to take it to the Black Stars. Well, if we get that sweet revenge, breathe momentarily. Yeah, it's about time. It will be about time. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you can find more USA news on FoxSoccer.com. For Kobe Jones, I'm Danny Bear. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.